December 19. The elder brother. He was angry, and would not go in, therefore came his father out, and entreated him. And he said unto him, Son thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. Luke 15 28-31 Of the two, I think the prodigal attracts more interest and affection than his elder brother. Esau seems a more attractive character than Jacob, the publican than the Pharisee, who rejoices that he is not as others. Probably it is because we are conscious of a closer affinity to the life of sense and passion, than to that of outward decorum and respectability. The elder son had a goodly heritage. He had his father's companionship in all the changing seasons of the year, and all the following years of his life, he had the comfortable assurance that he had never at any time transgressed the commands and directions which his father gave, so that he was saved from the inward canker of bitter remorse, he was at liberty to help himself, not only to a share of all that his father possessed, but to it all all that I have is thine. This is our heritage also, as the sons and daughters of the Lord God Almighty. We may live always in the presence and with the companionship of God, talking over with him all that concerns our lives and his work, we, too, are at liberty to draw on his vast resources, for whatever we require, since all that he has is ours in Christ, to be claimed by constant faith. How loveless and selfish was the spirit of the Eider brother! He was jealous of the welcome accorded to the prodigal, and complained that so much should be lavished on one whose conduct had been so great a contrast to his own. His selfish spirit alienated him from his father, who had to go out and entreat him to come in, for selfishness always isolates. The spirit which magnifies itself for its own virtues is not the spirit of true religion, however correct the exterior life may be. Let us each ask ourselves, can God our Father address us in such words as these? Can we be regarded with His grace and heavenly benediction, the sons of God without rebuke? If not, we are really as much prodigals as our brethren, for we are throwing away opportunities which angels covet. Let us arise and come back to our Father. Let us enter into His joy, let His joy enter our hearts, that we may make merry and be glad. Prayer Father, I have sinned, bring me back again into the old blessed companionship and fellowship, that I may live with Thee on earth, until Thou kayest me to live with Thee in heaven. Amen.